everyone and welcome to my new Dory paint video. Well guys, today we are going to make a Hindu goddess Kali. She is goddess of time, goddess of creation, goddess of destruction and power. But what is the most important for us here on this Dory painting YouTube channel? She is an extremely cool looking one. You know, this is the blue goddess with these multiple arms. She can have 4 to 10 arms. And she also has an absolutely wild outfit. So, I'm really very excited about this project. I really want to make this doll because the details of this goddess are absolutely fantastic. First of all, it's an Indian goddess, so we're going to give her some Indian special details. I'm especially excited about the crown. And of course, yeah, all in all, it's a very interesting project and you know, even though I haven't started working on it yet, I already know that it's gonna be a video of probably 40 to 45 minutes because I have such a long list of things, of different mini projects to make to complete this big doll project. So guys, that's why let's keep this intro very, very, very short and let's start working, let's move to the makeover. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, support my art here on YouTube with your likes and yes, let's start the transformation. So, and this is gonna be our model for this makeover. I've repainted this type of dolls twice on my channel before and both times I built the looks around the tentacles, around the bottom of the body. But this time we are going to actually remove the fish tail. The goddess Kali has regular human legs. And the top of the body is just perfect for this project. First of all, she already has four arms and Kali has been mostly portrayed with four or ten arms. And also her face is absolutely perfect for an Indian character, I think. I mean, the bone structure, the nose, the lips, she's ideal. She's just absolutely perfect. So now let's remove everything she wears, cut her hair off, well, you know, do all these things that we do in the beginning of my videos to prepare those for a makeover. And then I'll start working on the most exciting parts of it. Okay, everything is clean and ready and now I think I want to do all the planned body modifications starting with cutting off the bottom part of it. Let's take these legs that we have left after our unicorn makeover a couple of weeks ago and now we will connect the legs with the torso. First I glue them together using sticky warble thermoplastic and then I'm going to build new body shapes around it using epoxy sculpt. 
And I also think I want to make her a little bit more curvy because it would fit kind of the character of an Indian goddess. So check it out, this is where I've ended up, I don't know, it all looks really good, it looks very natural, so when the clay gets dry I can sand it all to make the surface very smooth and then I will spray the body and the head with blue acrylics. The next step will be drawing a new face, but first of all we need to seal it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear and then I can start sketching the eyes, the eyebrows, all the rest of the things, like the face, with watercolor pencils. And this doll will actually have three eyes this time, Kali always has a third eye on her forehead. But I will not draw it as an actual eye, you know, with irises, with white of her eyes, with all the things. But I want it to look rather like a special, I don't know, spiritual organ, something like this.
Kali has a red eyes by the way, something new and different this time also. I've never made those with red eyes before. And you know, in general her face doesn't supposed to look very friendly, since she is a goddess who destroys the evil to protect the innocent. You know, she can look quite wild and dark during her acts, so I want my doll to look quite wild as well. Okay, now I think I will leave the face for a while. I still have to add some details to it, but we will do it a little bit later. And right now I want to cover her body with a sealant and then we'll blush it with the same blue soft pastels. When the body is finished, I want to make her hair next. Kali's hair is very wild, very unrestrained, so I will use black acrylic yarn to make it. And we are starting with turning this yarn into loose hair-like fibers. Usually after this step I take a hair straightener and iron all the yarn, but this time I want to keep it fluffy because right now the texture of this yarn looks exactly like Kali's hair to me. So right now we can take tacky glue and we can start attaching this yarn to the doll's head.
Okay, her hair looks finished to me. There will still come a crown on the top, so I will let it for now. And right now I'm going to add the final accents to her face. First of all, I will add golden paint around her third eye. Then I will glue a red crystal to the space between her eyes. Kali mostly has it on pictures. Uh, and then I will also add golden dots above the eyebrows. So, and after this, I will still attach false lashes and I will add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. So, after this, I can call the face and the body finished. We can move on to her outfit and accessories. And you know, I'm actually super excited about it because her outfit looks, I don't know, <laughs> very interesting. Let's call it like this. Check it out. She has a skirt made out of her enemy's arms. She wears no traditional top, but her torso is covered with this thing made out of her enemy's hats. Then there is a gorgeous crown, weapons, and also in her hat she holds another hat of her enemy. I don't know, it already looks like a challenge. Let's start, and first of all I'm going to use my 3D printer to make a bunch of hands and skulls, because I've decided to use skulls instead of actual hats with faces. I thought the skulls would send the same message, but they would look more symbolic and less graphic and more, I don't know, family friendly. No, I was in such a 3D printing rush that I've made a hole in the bottom of this resin pool. I used the wrong spatula out of my own stupidity, was like too excited about everything going on. So I had to stop printing. I ordered a set of new see-through bottoms, waited for two days and now I'm going to fix the issue. Voila! Fixed! It looks very good to me, it looks like the new one, so now we can continue our printing marathon. Here are the results of my 3D printing a couple of days later. I don't know, it all looks super cute to me. So now let's disconnect it from the platforms, wash and then I will cure all the details in the UV lamp.
Okay, whew, done. <laughs> the 3D printing adventure is finished. The results look amazing. So now we can start assembling her outfit, starting with the skirt. First, I'm going to connect the arms to the belt made out of thermoplastic using hot glue. And then to make the construction extra strong, I want to add some epoxy resin additionally to connect the hands together. And here it is, check it out, please neglect the belt area, we will decorate it later. And for the rest, I don't know, it looks really fun, really cute. Never made anything like this before. So now I think we can start painting this skirt. So here is our skirt so far and you know I didn't expect to say it but it looks very cute and very colorful, I don't know, really pretty. So now let's work on this mess in the belt area and my plan from the beginning was to cover it all with golden chains. guys the legendary skirt of Kali please check it out it looks even better than I expected and it was actually a lot of fun to make it so now let's move on and make that neck decoration and for this I'm going to connect the skulls with each other using epoxy resin
Then we can paint it with acrylics and blush it with soft pastels and I'm going to do it together with that other bigger skull that she will hold in her hands. Okay, this thing looks finished to me, it looks really good on the doll and it works good together with the skirt. So now let's glue some hair onto the bigger skull and then we'll move on to making her crown and some other accessories, jewelry and I'm really excited about that one as well, I don't know, it's one big exciting makeover for me this time. So, I start with building a crown out of warble thermoplastic. To the front of it I add a piece of sticky warbler thermoplastic and then I place five skulls on top of it. And then I want to make holes in the side pieces, you will see later why, I have some idea. Okay, the crown looks cute, let's paint it. painted it with golden paint and now I want to cover it with a golden leaf on top and like this it will shine really like crazy and I want my crown to be super gold, super shiny, you know it is an Indian goddess, she must wear a lot of shining gold.
And here we are three hours later, really it took me much longer than I expected, but the result is absolutely stunning in my opinion, check it out. So now we still need to decorate it with rhinestones, but first of all I want to install these crystals with rhinestones into the holes that we've left earlier. This is it, this is the crown, I don't know, it looks super pretty to me, I'm really proud of myself this time. She still needs a lot of bracelets to decorate her arms, and you know this time I've decided to use original Monster High bracelets, I have a box with them, really full box with bracelets and other accessories, so this is a good opportunity to use at least some of them today. So first of all I will sand them, then I will seal them with Mr. Super Clear and then I will paint them in the same way like we've just painted the crown. Okay, this part is finished, now let's put all the bracelets to the arms and then I will also add some real chains there as well. And yes, we are almost there guys, we are really almost there. Actually for me it's already Tuesday and I'm normally supposed to be working on this video, but I still want to give her that sword, the last push really, the last detail. So I've decided still to put my 3D printer on at 2am and I've printed a couple of swords similar to what we see on the images with Kali. I'm gonna choose the one that I like most and I'm going to quickly repaint it overnight hoping to finish it all by Wednesday because then I still have a chance to finish the video on time before Friday. So, and now I think that all the details of this huge project are finally ready and now we can finally put everything together and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. 
So, and here is the final result of this project. And you know, I think it was probably the most epic project so far made by me on this channel. No, really, she's probably the coolest doll I've ever made in my life. But it was also quite a challenging project. Let's be honest, and it took also a very, very long time to complete. It was supposed to be finished two weeks ago, but then I let Lady Dimitrescu go first to have some extra time to work on Kali. And now I'm finishing it again, literally right before the deadline. But now I finally feel very, very happy looking at her. I was really worried about the skirt. I didn't want it to look like too scary or too graphic. But you know, it looks very colorful and it looks also very fun in the end. Really love the skirt. The crown, I don't know guys, I think the crown deserves a special like from you. At least I'm giving myself a like for it instantly. The crown looks absolutely epic in my eyes. And I just love in general the style and and the spirit of this doll she's also super special and she's completely different than all my other dolls and you know I love dolls that are different and you know guys meanwhile we're moving towards autumn and winter there will be still two more colorful and summerish makeovers then I will go on holidays for 10 days and then we'll dive into Halloween adventures and winter specials also very excited about this time of the year and that's why I would love to ask you which winter goddesses you would love to see. I could borrow some inspiration from you guys so please let your winter goddess ideas down in the comments. So and this doll is right now available for sale on eBay, please check out the link in the description box under this video if you think that this might be something for you. So, and that was it for today, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this makeover. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, normally in two weeks on Friday. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.